the city of New York has a new mayor. His name is Eric Adams, former subway cop. Seems like he'd be a big improvement over Bill de Blasio. Unfortunately, he has continued Bill de Blasio's state of emergency based on COVID. He's also continued the vaccine mandate for indoor venues, which is insane. So a lot of New Yorkers are continuing to flee to Florida, and that would include New York Congressperson Sandy Cortez, who the national media persists in calling AOC as if it's their job to make her myth. Let her do it herself. Her name's not AOC, it's Sandy. That's what they called her. Anyway, Sandy went to Florida on vacation with her boyfriend, and of course she didn't wear a mask. She got caught on video not wearing a mask and got attacked. Her defense, I'm a very sexy lady. Quote, if Republicans are mad that they can't date me, they can just say that instead of projecting their sexual frustrations onto my boyfriend's feet, you creepy weirdo. <laughs> Who's that creepy weirdo, Sandy? Anyway, Candace Owens is the host of Candace. She joins us to figure out who the creepy weirdo is here. Candace, great to see you. What, what do you make of her? If I'm just too sexy. Like, you can't criticize me. Is, does that work? Uh Listen, I saw this and I, I actually couldn't believe my eyes and I tried to create a sober analysis of what made her tweet that. And by the way, it got worse. She had a second tweet that said, there are sexual frustrations that underpin Republicans' crit critiques of me, their fixation on me. So she's really actually creating a sexual narrative. And in my sober analysis, I believe that she wasn't sober. I think, you know, alcohol <laughs> loosens your inhibitions. And I think that she was about 10 margaritas deep in Miami, enjoying the free state of Florida. And she wrote something that was honestly just filth. I mean, how bizarre and immature it is it for any person, any person that wants to be taken seriously as an adult, to look at a fair critique of them as an elected official who has been barking about how Florida is doing everything wrong, about how bad Ron DeSantis is, to see this critique and to offer back, well, you know what, you just want to sleep with me. I mean, what were we even talking about? Imagine if any male did this, an elected official. Imagine if Rand Paul, you know, gets a critique or, or if any other person, even Joe Biden, if Joe Biden was critiqued and they said, sir, how can you say this about climate change? And his response was, well, you just want to sleep with me. I mean, it's so bratty and it's so immature and it's so disgusting to even think about. And let me just say this in case there's any confusions. I have a lot of critiques of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I've had a lot of critiques since the very beginning. No, Sandy, I do not want to sleep with you. <laughs> I think that's fair. I mean, it does suggest enormously high self-esteem bordering on narcissism. I mean, if someone criticizes you and your first thought is they just want to have sex with me, you know, maybe they just don't like you. That's what I always assume when people criticize me. I never think, oh, well, you're very attractive to me. I mean, like, how crazy do you have to be to I think mean, something like that? I mean, you're like trending that? every other week. You're trending yeah, every other week. I don't think it's because I'm so sexy. Back, I'm <laughs> trending every week because everybody thinks I'm sexy and they're just venting their <laughs> sexual frustrations. Nobody would take you seriously because that's simply not how adults speak. It's the, it's the way that teenage boys who derive sexual innuendos from everything, that's how they speak. And that's where she belongs. She has the mind of a middle schooler. This is a 32 year old woman. It's really unacceptable, quite frankly. And it is hilarious, but it's also unacceptable that she's actually an elected official that sits in Congress. She's an absurd person. But I will say the thing about being a 52-year-old talk show host with four kids, everyone wants you, Candace. <laughs> it's, it's like so <laughs> insane. I just love it. Thank you. It's great to see you. Thank you.